beautiful clean. I am with Featherway Doctor in Sandpoint, Idaho. Uh, we are at Sandpoint, nope, Sand Creek Quilting. <laughs> I'm tired. Can you guys tell I'm a little tired tonight? Okay, it's been a long day today. So many wonderful new people have come in to say hello. Let me pull up my feeds and we can get started. So tonight, if this is the first time you are joining me, this is my sip and sew. So if you are looking for some hardcore featherweight education, this may not be the show for you. This show was created during COVID and it is a way of me and my online community finding our happy place together. Some of us have a half a glass of wine. Some of us have lemonade. Some of us have coffee. It doesn't matter. Uh, we, For me, it's a half a glass of wine. It's a featherweight of my choosing and it's a quilting project. So that is what we are doing tonight. Uh, we are just hanging out. Uh, usually the world joins me. So you, you might uh, use the comment section to read what people are saying. Um, <clears throat> I have some people from Turkey. I have some people from Indonesia, UK. Uh, they all join me in this next hour and we just kind of get to know each other and talk about our weeks. So feel free to uh, look at the comments. I'm going to say hi to some friends. Then we're going to sip. We're going to toast. We're going to do some sewing. Let me transition to my sewing board here. Okay, that works well. So let me, I have Facebook up. Let me go to my YouTube channel. Let's see here. I hope everybody had a good week. I had a great week. This has been the first week that I felt like a normal person in months. I mean, months. Um, I actually did a little self care this week, which I haven't done in a long time. Um, Really, I had a nice massage this morning, met, met a nice massage therapist. Yay! <laughs> All right, let me say hi to some friends and then we'll get going. So we have Nancy's on from Phoenix. Hello, Polly's on. Hi, Polly in UK. Cindy Matthews from Rainy, Michigan. Uh-oh, she forgot her drink. Nancy forgot her drink. <laughs> How is Facebook not working again? Odie, thanks for jumping over to YouTube. Uh, let's see. Karen's on. Hello. Oh, everybody has their sip and so cups. Dang, I actually went for the real wine glass. I should have grabbed my my cup. I did get a fresh glass of wine. I had a ton of wine left over from my opening party and I was going to open one of the bottles and my husband was like, just go get another glass of wine, Darlene. You know, because there's a wine bar downstairs because that's awesome. Oh, thanks, babe. All right. Andy brought me my cup. So I have more of these on the way. I actually changed colors because the white ones flew out of here so fast. So these are branded ones for the store, but this is my favorite part. It says sip and sew. <laughs> so um, we have green ones coming because mama likes green. So we're gonna have green ones next. The sip and sew cup crew. You guys have been sending me pictures of yourself with your cups. Made my week. Franny, Mary, y'all made my week. Let's see here. Let me say hi to my Facebook crew. We have Linda's in Tennessee. Debbie's in Kentucky. Hi, Debbie. Linda Woods on from Texas. Mel and Joe from Bay St. Louis, Mississippi. Hi, guys. Nancy from Lake Stevens is on. Bonnie's from Rainy, Illinois. Y'all, it is gorgeous outside. Like 55 but clear and blue. I have to tell you what I've noticed about the weather in North Idaho this week after I'm done saying <laughs> hi to everyone. Ah, uh, Deanna's in uh, Napa Vine, Washington, and she is sipping from her sip and sew cup. That is awesome. Pauline is on from Texas. Tracy's on from Virginia. Hello, hello. She said, glad it's Friday. Going to a class tomorrow to make a pumpkin themed red quilt. Ooh, Tracy, do send pictures. That sounds awesome. Are you going to use your featherweight for the piecing? Hi, Daria from Rathrum. Thanks for the cookies last week at the opening party. You're such a sweetheart. Um, so just so you know, Daria, I did 
land up with an abundance of cookie uh, cookies after the opening event and the other ones that I bought, not yours, the other ones I bought, I bagged up and put out on the table with business cards for free cookies to walk by. Yours went in my refrigerator because I wanted to make sure I was gonna hoard your cookies. They were phenomenal. Y'all, she must have used like two pounds of butter in these chocolate chip cookies. They would bring a tear to your eye. Darina is home in the sewing room, hand sewing the binding on her fig pumpkin trio. Nice, you guys, nice. <laughs> ah, Debbie Kavanaugh Reby says, wine bar, one more reason to visit. <laughs> come on up, girl, come on up. <laughs> Hi, Joe from Maryland and Diana Jones from Missouri. Oh, Kathy's on from East Texas. Hello, hello. I see Judy P's on too. Hi guys, and Judy Colby's on. I Tonight I am not working on my penguin quilt. It's not done yet, Judy, but I'm not working on it. Tonight I am working on some stuff for Apple Fest. <laughs> Peach Moscato, I have, Odie was here for opening. Odie is my buddy from Central, well, S Southern Portland, Oregon, Aurora, Aurora, Oregon, and she likes sweet wines. And so she has a um, peach Moscato. I have the, um, oh, good Lord, I can't remember. It's a Sangiovese, basically. And I have a red tonight. I needed to chill out a little bit. Ah, Sandy Martin, do we need the cookie recipe? I think so. Daria, we need the cookie recipe. Orientation sounds like, <laughs> yay, you guys, good job. Brandy made it. Hi, Mary's at work, and I don't know where Kathy is yet, and Susie might be here. Nice. Welcome, ladies. Welcome. I know I did get a lot of comments on getting a red cup, so maybe after the green, get the inventory gets low on the green, we'll bring in red. I am not opposed to adding more colors. Not at all. <laughs> Sandy Martin, what are you trying to say? Orientation? What? <laughs> Huckleberry from Winery, one block away was, oh, that does sound good. Oh, yes. Pondere, you're talking about when you were here. Got it. Hi, Jen Jen. Thanks for joining us. Okay. Let me show you. The oh, well, my buddy Jeanette in Sammamish is sipping tequila. Way to go, girl. <laughs> Judy P, Franny's not going to be good. Why even tell her to be good? <laughs> All right, friends. So I have been part of this community. I uh, think the cups are 30, 29.95, Jen Jen. How much are the sip and so cups? Do you know? I think they're like 30, maybe a little less than 30. I can't remember. <gasps> Peggy from Iowa. I can't wait to see you in a month. Yay. She's got her mat and her sip and so cup. Good job, you guys. Oh, Mel just sent me a pin a picture. A pi wow, I swear I've had one sip of wine. Picture of a finished lap quilt. Uh, now she's doing more masks. They're popular again. Yay! <laughs> Odie is rubbing it in everybody's nose over on YouTube that she got a apron and some people did not. Yes. Can you switch the angle to just show Oh, sure. Why? How come? Oh. Megan didn't want to see the sewing machine bed or what was behind it. <laughs> Turquoise. Kathy, now you're speaking my language. <laughs> I think my, oh no, Kathy Harris, email us your last order. We'll track it down for you or we'll send you another one. Email me at info, I-N-F-O at featherweightdoctor.com. We'll take care of you. Drinking milk and having cookies. That sounds good too. Ooh, Bernadette says hot pink cups. Now you're talking. Now you're talking. So Sandy Martin, you don't even know what happened to your apron. So we were having a little trouble with our online website inventory and our in-store inventory pulling from the same place. So we actually oversold our aprons and Sandy Martin, yours was the last to get sold. And I had to beg my apron I had to beg Stacy to make me another one so I could send it to you. So that they are out of stock now until December. No more aprons until December. Come December, come December, I'll have another limited quantity. So when they come available, you'll wanna you'll wanna grab them. 
because there's another limited quantity coming. <gasps> Denise, I am so jealous. Evil Twin Denise is on YouTube and her and I both have custom sewing desks that we call baby elephants because they weigh 500 pounds. And she just said hers was delivered to the house I'm currently living in. <gasps> Still in the garage, but getting closer to my actual office. Oh, I'm so jealous. Mine is actually still in storage. I haven't been able to um, talk my husband into baby elephant, carrying the baby elephant up the stairs here. <laughs> Let's see here. Um, so Jen Jen, I currently just have white, but I will probably have green by next week on the cups. Are you talking about the cups? Colored cups to match the featherweight badges. Ah, oh, there you go, Deanna. I like that. We do have matching sewing desks. I have to show you guys something that I got when I was in Phoenix. So you guys know my twin sister, right? <sighs> Evil twin Denise. She is a regular on here. Everybody loves her. You guys might like her more than you like me. It's totally fine. Um... But my mother-in-law found this at a, uh, <clears throat> a store and she had to bring it home for me. How perfect is that? <laughs> I'm like, oh, that is so going to the shop. I have, I'm gonna put it on the wall behind me. I can't remember if I'm the good sister or the evil one. I'll let you guys decide. <laughs> Polly, bless you for trying to haul your desk into the office. Love that you both have matching sewing desks. Yes, we do. We do have an elevator at the, um, hi Lisa Meadows. We do have an elevator at the, the store here, but I think the desk exceeds, I don't think we'll get it in and out of the elevator. So I'm pretty sure we're gonna have to like carry it up the stairs. Uh-huh. Okay, so I started telling you guys about Apple Fest. So, Odie's going to say this is too small. It's not too small. <laughs> so I was, uh, so Sandpoint, Idaho has Apple Fest on October 16th. We're all supposed to do something having to do with Apple stuff. So I decided to make um, a mug rug and provide enough um, pieces in order to be able to have everybody make one. So here is our mug rug. If you're in town on Oct October 16th, you can come by and get a free kit that has the fabric to make this block in it or this mug rug and someone else who is not a quilter pointed out the fact that you could put a button a button and a rubber band on here and turn it into a cozy look if you didn't want them if you didn't want a mug rug you can turn this into a cozy so there you go. I might be giving a bunch of these away after October 16th. If I don't, I'm making a certain number of kits and if they don't get given away, I'd rather give them to you guys. So I'm gonna record a video on how to put it together. I've used my AccuQuilt Go system to cut pre-cut everything so you guys will get everything already in blocks here, see? These are my quarter square triangles. Did I lose one? I drop stuff all the time. You guys are used to it. <laughs> Darling, yes, it's true, Denise. I did get my baby elephant first, and then you copied me. It's true. The 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 sewing back place that we bought them from, I'm sure they loved us. Actually, <laughs> oh yes, Max on the violin, wasn't he good? He was good. Did you guys know? That YouTube, you know, we did the live, um, the live stream from the opening event. They flagged my video for copyright because he was playing those modern songs on his violin, and they didn't take it down or anything. But I got, I got my hand slapped. Sorry. Let's see, <laughs> Peggy, my twin, and I don't have matching anything. Oh, but he doesn't sew. Well, that makes sense. <laughs> Judy says, I have a pillow that says, I smile because you're my sister. I laugh because there's nothing you can do about it. <laughs> that is awesome, Judy. <laughs> well, I love that. <laughs> um, I did hire the violin player for the opening. Yes, he's a um, local student in college and he 
is a busker. Am I saying that right? So like on Saturdays, he plays down by the wine bar busking for help to pay for college. And so I approached him and I was like, um, hey, can I hire you for a two hour party? And he was like, absolutely. And he was, did such a good job. The next time we do, I think we might do some kind of a Christmas open house or there's also supposed to be like a ladies night thing here. I might have him come back up because it was really nice to have him. He's fabulous. <laughs> OC, nice job on the cozy. Thank you, Odie. Thank you. Max was amazing. You should, yeah, I guess I should have had a disclaimer in the description, but I did, I didn't recognize the songs. I didn't know that Facebook or that, um, YouTube could. <laughs> Hi, John. Thanks. Oh, she's loving the show. And I do have my, okay. Fabuloso. Cheers, John. <laughs> oh my goodness. Let's see. <clears throat> Jen Jen says, I, I love my red rugs from early OC. Oh, good. Good, good, good. I had another quilter in here who told me that she doesn't use mug rugs. She thinks they're silly. And I'm like, I use them all the time because I'm a spiller. I, I tip things over. So I think it might have something to do with all the band-aids on my hands and how klutzy I am. <laughs> my husband thinks it's adorable most of the time, unless he's sitting at the emergency room with me. <laughs> all right, let's put some of these together. So in addition to giving away the mug rugs fabric, I um, had a bunch of other fabric left over and I decided to make a table runner also using my AccuQuilt Go 8 inch cube. So I made these blocks. They're going to go together like this. And so this is going to be a table runner that I'll quilt the crap out of and I will raffle it away on that weekend. Oh, Franny, she did good. Denise, Franny wants you to know you did a great job. I'm sure she means you too, Ray. Didn't they do a good job? I got home from that party on Friday night and I was so tired that all I could do was flop down on the couch and I turned on YouTube and I watched the video. My sister is a nut. I am so sorry. <laughs> Maybe her and I should have a show together. Is there any TV producers watching? <laughs> She is a nut. All right, we are gonna make some <laughs> quarter square triangles. So I'm gonna take my two quarter squares and I'm gonna put their faces together. So put their um, right sides together and I'm going to sew down one side. Oh, 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 Morticia was clearly, oh my gosh, did I just, oh, I thought I thread jammed my machine. <laughs> Of, uh, yes, of course, Ray does not need a raise. She's totally fine. Um, let's see. Uh, oh, good. John's working on his first quilt. Welcome. That's awesome. We love old machines here and quilting. Those are our two favorite things. So, John, if you like those things, you're in the right place. Karen says, seems like they might work out as a featherweight bed cover. <laughs> um, actually... Odie would be right on that. Yeah, well, you could put it under your foot and easily put it up. You could do that. <laughs> Denise. Take your time and enjoy. Oh, I thought you were talking to me, Lisa. I'm like, we don't enjoy the process here. We get stuff done. But John, you should enjoy the process for sure. <laughs> and I heard you guys got Reagan to smile. Good job. She smiles a lot when she's not on camera, but you turn the camera on and she's like, Oh, there you go, Odie. You could make borders to fit on the mug rug and then it would be big enough for the bed. Totally true. All right, let's see here. Oh, goodness, what did I do? Did I seriously run out of bobbin thread? All right, drinking game. Everybody take a sip. I think I'm out of bobbin thread. Cheers. No, it's, I have bobbin thread. Don't drink. Just kidding. <laughs> Oh, good. John also likes using his featherweight. Nice. Franny, are you... Franny, do not start searching for a date on my live stream. <laughs> oh, here we go. Oh, here we go. 
Yes, Ray was looking more comfortable, Lisa. I agree with you. She was a big chicken to do it by herself. That's why she railroaded her aunt to help her. <laughs> oh, thank you, Jerry. That's so sweet. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Yes, yeah, she was laughing at you. Sip, sip. <laughs> Do you guys know how much I love you? Thank you for making every Friday afternoon interesting. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> Polly, we are not doing the Featherweight Doctor dating service. <laughs> we are not doing that. Um, I watched a cute movie the other night with Ray. It was called, it was an older movie. It was called Rumor Has It with Jennifer Aniston. And, um... Oh, who's the guy? The guy. Kevin Costner. Kevin Costner. He is a very good looking man. I'm just saying. Almost as cute as Andy. Almost as cute as Andy. <laughs> oh, John bought a 301 tan with a lung bed. Very, I have a 301 also. I really like my 301. <laughs> Jen, Jen, I know where Franny was going with the are you married? I knew where she was going. <laughs> Hi, Joan Holland. We are sipping. Cheers. <laughs> Anytime is sip time. Amen. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to do two sets of these quarter square triangles. How much is a 301 way? That's a good question. It's in both anchor uh, territory. I would say at least 25. Sure for sure. For it's no Apple Fest is on the 16th of October. Yeah. yeah. Well, Sorry. <laughs> All right. So we have two quarter square triangles. Oh, okay. Lisa's softening. <laughs> Franny, what was behind you asking? <laughs> ah, 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 ah. Actually, I know a lot of gentlemen that have, um, that are the quilters. Because they're super meticulous and a lot of them like the math of quilting. Um, so I've had a lot of retired engineers from Boeing and such um, become quilters. One of my, um, so one of my oldest friends in the world, she's a childhood friend. Her dad was an engineer in a nuclear submarine commander when he was in the Navy. And um, he is the quilter. His wife pieces everything and um, Carl finishes it for her. He's a very nice man. Okay. Oh, Mel says she's been sewing all day. Okay, if I just sip and not sew. To yes, of course. You just sip and enjoy yourself. <laughs> Judy says, I do have sewing machine earrings on. Yes, let me turn these around. They're little featherweights. I actually sold, I have one more pair of these and they sold almost sold out at the grand opening. So <clears throat> I have more coming from Stacy next week. Yeah, oh see, Lisa had a gentleman at the Missouri Star Quilt retreat she went last week. Did you have fun, Lisa? I missed you. I missed you when I was in Phoenix. Uh, I hope you had a good drive back. Okay, I'm just using my hands to finger press my seams open. So here is my quarter square triangle. Not, nothing's pressed yet, I will press. Oh, your Judy P, your son serves on a nuclear sub. That's awesome. Did you guys know that there is a lake? This the lake I'm on, Lake Pondere, is one of the deepest freshwater lakes in the country, and there is a submarine base there because they do testing because it's so deep. Oh, Lisa says I'm not sewing either. Eating dinner while I watch. Nice. What did What did you make me for dinner? I'm going over to a friend's house. She made chicken pot pie. Okay, so I'm going to make a few more of these quarter square triangles. You know, 
I have to say, so take a good look at these pieces. See how, this is what I like about the AccuQuilt. See how their little notches are, are clipped? So when you go to put your pieces together, oopsie daisy, everything lines up perfectly. See, look at that. So you know that you are lined up before you start sewing. It's pretty phenomenal, actually. Oh, Chili Mac, nice. Lisa, who was at Missouri Star last week, which she hasn't been around for a little bit, said, I had a blast. We did a, have a mishap. Oh no, mishap. One of the ladies fell, shut up, really? Fell down a flight of stairs and we spent hours at the emergency room having her checked out. Oh my gosh. I am so, is she okay? That's terrible. <laughs> Mom, how's your hand? I meant to call you this morning and check on you. Is therapy going okay? My mom's on. She cut or she fell. She fell at the Kroger and she caught herself with her hand and she they thought she broke her knuckle, but instead she broke all the little bones in her hands. So she's had surgery to wire everything back together. Poor thing. That's amazing. She after she fell downstairs, that she just walked out with bumps and bruises. Yikes! Hey, hey, tell them about the lady we had in. Oh, so I've met some. Oh, I have to tell you guys, I have met some completely spectacular new friends here in Sandpoint. There is a gal. Her name was Jan. I met her this week. She's from Montana. And she has a retreat center, oh, winky face, retreat center um, in Montana that hosts quilting retreats. So, and she had uh, had some recent surgery and wasn't able to speak. So she was writing everything on a board when she was talking to me. Very sweet, Jan, very sweet. Oh, good. <laughs> and then, yes. Yeah, Oh, Franny, you're so sweet. Um, and then I, I have to tell you another story because this is a crazy, ridiculous coincidence. So at the party Friday night, there was a gal here and her name was Sheila. And she had a, a couple of very nice young ladies with her. You could tell they were all her daughters. They all looked exactly alike. Um, and she uh, told me, that uh, she goes, she goes, you were evacuated off of Trestle Creek for the fire, weren't you? And I was like, yeah. She was, so this gal named Sheila, who lives locally, is a volunteer for the FEMA something something, and she volunteers for the fire department. And she was the one, so when we were evacuated that night um, off of Trestle, she was the one we went to a staging area and we had to give them our names um, for them to track who was evacuated off the off the road and then we had already gone back to western washington but um but they uh still called us to tell us that we could go back to the house but we were already back home in western washington so when this gal sheila who called my cell phone to, to tell us we could go back to Trestle because the evacuation order had been lifted. She heard my voicemail on my cell phone and it said, Darlene with Featherweight Doctor. And she got all excited because she has six daughters, five or six daughters. She has several antique machines, including a Featherweight. And she was all excited that there was someone local that did Featherweights. And then when she, she actually remembered my name, and looked me up on the computer and saw that we were living in Redmond, Washington. And so she was like, oh, that's a bummer. I thought she was local, da 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 da. And then a few weeks later, her daughters were walking through the mall here at the bridge and saw my sign and took a picture for their mom to let her know that there was a featherweight gal coming in. And so she got all excited again because she's like, she is local, she's just not here yet. And so she was here all excited about the opening and the fact that we're gonna have classes for the feather rate and maintenance 
um, for the featherweight and all that fun stuff. So isn't that cool? I, I what a small, small world, small world. That's all I'm going to say. Her daughters were delightful, by the way. You already told the story this week. Where does it say that? No, grandma takes me. Grandma was here. That's why she knows that. I didn't, yeah. I didn't tell you guys that story already, did I? I don't think I did. Hi, Janet from North Carolina. Let's see, Mel says, have a bid on a featherweight machine on Shop Goodwill. <laughs> That's good news, bad news. Pick up only in Minneapolis. Oh, good Lord. You can, can't they send it to like a UPS store and then send it to you? It might cost you an arm and a leg, but if you get a good price, it'd be worth it. Ray, can you hand me two more green triangles? Need two more green triangles. Myra! Hi! Thank you, my dear. How's it going? <gasps> you like your sip and sew tumbler too? That's awesome. I just like that it has a lid on it. Because I'm super klutzy and now I can have my beverages in the store and I don't have to worry about spilling on anything. So, there you go. That's <laughs> uh, funny. Hi, Pam Ernest from Maine. Thanks for tuning in. Welcome to the Sip and Sew. I am making blocks for Apple Fest here in Sandpoint on October 16th. She, daughter Katie can Katie's friends can grab it that's good we we have a few left Pam of sip and sew mugs in white if you wait till next week you can buy green ones I'm gonna add a second color yes Odie that's exactly Odie you totally took the thought right out of my head I thought and no fruit flies <laughs> Oh, Myra needed the lid too. Absolutely, girl. All right, so I have a bunch of these made. And all I'm gonna do, because again, of the little notches, see the little notches on the ends, I'm just gonna line up my notches like that and then I know that everything is perfectly lined up and when I get to the center seam I will roll it forward or I'll nestle it into it itself so I have a perfect point. Ooh, a purple sip and sew, Janet. I like that. I bet Odie would like a purple sip and sew mug too. Uh, we might, Pam, get pink or teal. I don't know yet. We're, we are trying to stick to the branding colors which is like a uh, tree green and water blue, but you never know. <laughs> Sandy, do you um, use the word orientation a lot? <laughs> I bet Odie has been called worse things than orientation. <laughs> I would like teal also. Maybe that maybe that will be a spring color. needle threaders but that would be good to add to a, our list of products to get in thank you you're welcome <laughs> oh the 301 weighs 16 pounds thanks john i i wasn't sure how much it weighed it is considerably more than the featherweight i know that oh yeah hot pink bernadette good job
I wish there's a way also to see those on YouTube at the same time. See, I wish there was a way we could also see. Oh, the, the comments. I know. That's why I read your comments so that everybody can, you know, enjoy all of the comments. But yes, there, I could centralize to one platform, then I feel like I'd lose part of my audience. So what do you do? What do you do? Because I, I know some people don't do YouTube and some people don't do Facebook. Polly says, is there any slight difference with the 301 bobbin case? Um, no, it's the same bobbin case. I found an accessory box in a drawer for the 301 even though, yes. The accessory, so the, the bobbin case for the 301 will work in a 221 or a 222. Yes, I agree, Miss Mel. She said, I enjoy piecing. Quilting on the featherweight becomes challenging. You just need more practice. <laughs> There's actually some, for me, I really enjoy um, quilting on the featherweight because the machines move at a more moderate pace than my modern machine. And it allows me to be able to um, just take my time and enjoy what I'm doing and focus on it being perfect. <laughs> All right, so we have a couple of perfect blocks here. Ta-da! There you go, yes. Yeah, that, that was a lucky find, Polly, because that bobbin case, if it's a Semenko original one, would run you $100 on eBay. So there you go. Okay, so I need one, two, four. Okay. So you guys can see what I'm doing here. You always have to make sure to hold your threads when you start out, because otherwise it'll um, get a little rat's nest underneath. That is true. Did you, yes, I did use my AccuQuilt die. I used my um, eight inch cube, Janet, and I used the quarter square triangle block or cutting block die. I used the, the, the two strip one that looks like this, like this. And then I used the two and a half inch square where you can get four out of one cut. I'm mass producing these for a giveaway, Janet, so I wanted to make the cutting as easy as possible. And it was not, I mean, it couldn't have been any easier than with the, than with the, the die cutter. Let's see here. Uh, the feed dog cover as if it, yes, the feed dog cover will scratch the clear coat. Can I felt? So Audrey, what I use is blue painter's tape. I don't have any out right now to cover my feed dogs. And I just, Audrey, I just cover the silver capital letter D for Darlene throat plate. So that way I don't um, pull any, I don't run tape over the decals anymore because I did have a machine that was, um, had a worn clear coat. And when I put the blue painter's tape over the gold foil, it actually pulled some foil up when I pulled it up. So I just use a small piece of painter's tape to cover my feed dogs instead of the cover, because those covers will scratch your bed here. Hi, Judy S. from Kansas. Thanks for joining us. Soshi, hi, how are you? How are you doing? Hi, Cassiana. thanks for joining us. 
<laughs> Let's see, how do you, do? oh, so Judy, what we're gonna do with the giveaway um, is I'm making 50 kits for the mug rug. Uh, and if I don't give them all away, I'm going to give them all away to you guys. I don't know how we're gonna do it yet, but I'm gonna think of a fun, um, a fun, contest or something for you guys to have maybe test your featherweight knowledge uh so yes i'm gonna if i don't give away all of my mug rug ki complete kits or kits for the top of the mug rug then i will find some way to get them out to my online audience because i like giving stuff away i do Ooh, Peggy, go enjoy the new James Bond movie. That sounds like fun. My husband was was showing me the James Bond movie catalog on um what was it? On Apple TV last night and I don't really get it cuz every James Bond movie is the same. He's a spy. He sleeps with pretty women and he saves the world from something. That's the, that's the plot. Peggy, I just ruined the movie for you. <laughs> but yet people keep going and seeing the same movie over and over again. It's like those Mission Impossible movies. It's the same thing. Oh, good. So she's back at work. Still can't. Oh, no, no. Still can't sew. I'm sorry. That's terrible. Did you have surgery on your foot? You have to learn how to drive one-handed and then use your other hand. Sounds really complicated, doesn't it? <laughs> Let's see, Sandy says, don't forget the little toys in the car. Oh, what's this? Right, exactly, the car and, the, and all of the spy gadgets. Exactly, Sandy. Karen, did you sell all of your, I did not sell all of my available machines. I think I still have a few left. I think I've got a 52 and a 54 available. Um, there is a 39 that has kind of a matte finish to her. She's still available. But I think all my white ones sold. I did have two 1964 white ones and I believe they both sold. Oh, so she a total knee replacement? Good Lord. <laughs> Peggy says, that's okay. I love James Bond anyway. <laughs> that's funny. <laughs> Franny. It's <laughs> hilarious. You guys crack me up. Do you have anything for sale, including machine accessories on the website? Do you have everything that is available for sale, including? Yes, I believe so. Yes. Oh, Mel has a white one if anybody's looking for one. So she, <laughs> he does have beautiful blue eyes. So little known fact, the actor that plays James Bond, Craig something Craig, I can't remember his name. 
he dated a girl I went to high school with for a long time. I don't know if they're still together, but that is as close to James Bond as I get. <laughs> Bernadette's. <laughs> James Bond movies are like Hallmark movies. My husband hates the Hallmark movies, unlike me. My mom-in-law, Nancy, watches those Hallmark movies on repeat. It's always on her TV. I know, Judy, I love how this comes together. Isn't that cute? Elizabeth in Indiana says, putting binding on my pumpkin cat table runner. Last night, I always refer to your, oh, you're so, oh, Daniel Craig. Thank you, Polly. Thank you, Craig. Yeah, I couldn't remember the other part. Yeah, he was dating a gal called Suki or, um, anyway, I went to, she was the year behind me. She was one year younger than me. I have no idea whether they're still dating. This was a long time ago. All right, one more block for my table runner. Done. Um, when I'm on camera with you guys, it's a pain to keep pulling the iron out. So what I do is I will sew all of these and then I'll go over to the iron later and I will do all the pressing to make sure that these are flat. As I have, I don't have my full studio sent, set up where I can have my ironing station out because again, the baby elephant isn't here yet. Um, I also have a, because I am a long arm quilter, I have a thing against, um, Thread. So I always snip all my threads so I don't have any threads showing on the top of the quilt. Thank you, Judy. I made it up, actually. Made up the block. I started out with um, with the little four inch, four and a half inch, oh shoot darn, um, with the little four and a half inch quarter square triangle and then I decided it needed to be bigger. And doing this without my reading glasses is always a challenge. Okay. Anybody have any big plans for the weekend? I am hoping to not work tomorrow. Theoretically, Reagan and I are going to stagger our days off. So we both get a weekend, but I think we're still going to be here six days a week. Because Monday was crazy in here. I do. Oh my, Polly says I have another hundred face masks all cut out and ready to sew. That'll keep you out of trouble this weekend, girl. Franny said work and finish the quilt on the frame, getting ready for the rain. Y'all, we have snow. We have snow in our forecast. Where did I move? Where did I move? 
Oh, nice, Mel. Second Saturday art crawl and cruising the Coast Car Fest. Nice. That sounds like fun. Ah, Deanna says, look like, looking forward to trying out a new feather raid. Hmm, I wonder what feather raid that is. I don't know when it's going to be to you. It might not, because of the weekend, it may not be there till Monday. Lock number three, or oh, actually number one. I'm out of, I need to go cut more of my little two and a half by four and a half inch squares. All right, you guys. That's all I had to sew for tonight. <laughs> I'm ill prepared. <laughs> more fruit flies, get away from my wine. What's going on? I guess I need to take the garbage out. <sighs> add it to my list, add it to my list. <clears throat> Oh, going to a barn sale or barn trail sale. That sounds like fun. Cindy Matthews. Oh, yeah, Elizabeth. No, she says big fun here. Costco run. <laughs> that doesn't sound fun at all. <laughs> Elizabeth, you do you. You might find a featherweight along the way. There you go. <laughs> I know you're on you're on featherweight buying restriction. Let's see, have you guys seen the new Gaines commercial where the flash? No, I haven't seen that yet. I'll have to look it up. That sounds cute. All right, you, you friends, thank you so much for hanging out with me. I'm going to wrap things up here and head out into no man's land. Uh, I'll have to take some pictures to show you. The trees here are just turning the most beautiful shade of gold and yellow. Red will be another week, I'm sure, but it is spectacular and very distracting while you're driving down the road. <laughs> very distracting. Uh, thank you all for joining me. John, thanks for joining me. I'm glad you have found us. We're here every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at 4 o'clock Pacific. Oh, you spent the day cutting out all those masks, Polly? Good Lord. <laughs> Thanks, Myrna. Thanks for joining us. All right. Have a good night. I'll be back here on Monday uh, right here. I'm going to be going over the difference between the black and the white oiling points. The white machines are very different little creatures. So tune in at 4 o'clock Pacific right here on Facebook and YouTube. If you haven't already, like this video. Feel free to share it with your friends. <laughs> Bye, Lisa. Bye, everybody. Have a great weekend. Be